Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And on this video, we are diving deep in the waters and learning a little bit of the ocean. We are here in the ocean conservation experience just to learn a little bit more about the ocean and what makes up 70% of the earth. So if we go look at this board, what are some things that we could do and solve the problems of climate change well it says we all can reduce our carbon footprint by how we eat and even travel so let's keep on going and let's go over hmm, why not let's go over here what this exhibit is oh it's all about fish cool and this over here says that Ocelaris clownfish are not endangered. However, in the last 15 to 30 percent of the world's reefs have been lost, according to ADW. Some of the destruction has been caused by fishermen catching clownfish to sell as pets. Well, what do you know? And let's come over here. What does this say? If you guys are curious on what it says on the board, you can always pause the video and read it for yourself. But I will also be reading it as well. And it says whaling is hunting whales to harvest products such as meat and blubber. Commercial whaling began in the 1800s and nearly drove some whale species to extinction. Some species have still not recovered from being hunted and are currently listed as endangered. Although commercial whaling is not the biggest threat facing whales today, it still exists. And this one says, headline grabbing oil spills account for just 12% of the oil in our oceans. That's three times as much oil is carried out to sea via runoff from our roads, rivers, and drain pipes. Wow, that is a lot of oil going in our oceans. Okay, so let's see what's over here. When dumped in large amounts, agricultural nutrients such as nitrogen can stimulate the explosive growth of algae. When algae decomposes, oxygen in the surrounding waters is consumed, creating a vast dead zone that can result in mass die-offs of fish and other marine life. Well, I did not know algae does that much damage to the ocean. Now let's go to this one. 8 million metric tons. That's how much plastic we dump into our oceans each year. That's about 17.6 billion pounds or the equivalent of nearly 57,000 blue whales every single year. By 2050, ocean plastic will outweigh all of the ocean's fish. Wow, that is a lot of trash in our ocean. Pretty much plastic, huh? Okay, let's go on to the next billboard. Is it over here? Okay. In 2004, scientists count 146 hypoxic zones, area of such low oxygen concentration that animal life suffocates and dies. In the world's ocean, by 2008, the numbers jump to 405. In 2017, in the Gulf of Mexico, oceanographers detect a dead zone nearly the size of New Jersey, the largest dead zone ever measured. Okay, going to the next billboard, I think it's over here. There's so much junk at sea, the debris has formed giant garbage patches. There are five of them around the world, and their largest, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, includes an estimate of 1.8 trillion pieces of trash and covers an area twice the size of Texas. Wow, that is a lot of trash and the size of Texas? Wow. Last but not least, most ocean trash sits in the bottom. And unsightly as ocean pollution is, what we can't see may be worse. 70% of ocean garbage actually sinks to the sea floor, meaning we're unlikely to ever be able to clean it up. Wow, that is very, very sad. Well, we are nearing the end of the exhibit, and I hope you guys learned a lot from it. And look at all of these beautiful marine life, and wow, it's just amazing. Probably wondering why did I upload this video in the first place. 
Well, it is because of Team Seas. You probably remember about Team Trees a while back then, but now, this year, it's about Team Seas. Well, all creators around the world are teaming up with Team Seas to make a change in, well, our oceans, rivers, and of course, our seas. And every dollar we donate, that equals to one pound of trash that they will pick up. And our goal is 30 million dollars. So that is 30 million pounds of trash that they will pick up. And the people behind Team Seas are the Ocean Conservancy as well as the Ocean Cleanup. Well, if you're interested or want to know a little bit more about them, the links are in the description box below. So again, the link will be in the description box below. And of course, you guys can make a change too because one dollar equals to one pound of trash that will be picked up. You guys can be the agents of change and impact the world. And I almost forgot, I'll be donating all the money I'll be making in this video to Team Seas. So you should share this video to everybody, your friends, your family, your dog, your pets, whatever, whomever, because everything will go to Team Seas. I know 300 million may be a lot, but I believe in us. I believe we can do it and we, I believe we can meet that goal. So again, everything will be in the description box below and I hope you guys have the rest of your fabulous day.